Hi guys, it's Hot Mess Mama. Happy almost Easter. It is Wednesday, the 28th of March. It's two o'clock Eastern time. i um, doing a really quick uh, Facebook Live on Easter egg hacks. This is the day I typically do my videos on hacks, right? And I thought, perfect time to do a little broadcast about Easter egg hacks, because we're all, you know, looking for some shortcuts, especially when it comes to the messy, crazy, dying of eggs right remember when we were kids well maybe i'm just too old but when i was a kid like we dyed our eggs and when we had our easter egg hunts we hunted for real hard-boiled eggs there was no we never had plastic eggs we didn't put treats inside plastic eggs and go searching for plastic filled eggs throughout you know our you know the yards or having these easter egg hunts out in you know the churches or whatever with plastic eggs we all had hard-boiled eggs and it was still such a thrill to like find all these beautifully colored hard-boiled eggs all over you know the park or all over your church or your backyard or whatever and you know so nowadays the kids it's like completely foreign to them they don't even they don't even hunt for the hard-boiled eggs they and that's it's, it's got the hard-boiled egg like the easter tradition has its roots in you know christianity with like you know that being like you know it's a rebirth it's a it's a thing i probably should look it up to remember what it is exactly that makes it, it makes it the easter egg somehow christian probably had its roots, roots in paganism at one point and it has now become christian but anyways here are my easter egg hacks so if anybody's out there and if you've got some please share please comment if you're watching this on the recording please comment and you know i always love some thumbs ups and some hearts to just know that some people are actually out there listening to what i have to say and if you want to forward this on or post it on your facebook page or share this with your friends and bring them on over to Hotness mama live website or at our our blog or facebook page or twitter or instagram bring them on over i would love to have you guys join join the village but first and foremost, did you know that when you're boiling an egg, that they say if you include one teaspoon of baking soda, I think my daughter just, she just found an entire box of peeps. So we're gonna have to do this fast. Okay, so if you take a teaspoon of baking soda and you put it in with your boiling water before you put you boil your eggs, it helps to um, put more alkalinity in the water, which makes it much easier apparently for you to peel your eggs without you like actually peeling the peeling the shells without like digging into the egg. So try that this time. If you're gonna be boiling your eggs this, this go around um, to uh, boil your eggs in water that has one teaspoon of baking soda. Also they say that you know how sometimes like when you put your egg in the, like you have the boiling water and then you put the egg in the boiling water, sometimes the egg cracks and all the like white stuff starts to goose out and you're like, oh great, now that one's gonna like, gonna boil funny and that all the egg white stuff is flowing out of these eggs, right? The, the egg whites. So apparently if you put, if you sprinkle, I don't, they didn't say how much exactly, but if you sprinkle a bit of salt in your water, it like coagulates that egg white that cracks really fast so that you have minimal seepage or leakage. So try that too. So apparently a tablespoon of this to keep your she shells easy to peel and a sprinkle of this to keep your cracky eggs from oozing out all that white stuff. So those are great tricks, right? And then we talked about um, on my last hack trick, uh, the last week's hacking video about how we peel eggs. Um, you know, there's always there's all sorts of great methods about how to you know peel an egg most effectively. But like my favorite was, and I showed this last week, like you get a Tupperware and you put the hard boiled egg in the Tupperware, you fill it like half up with water, put the top on, just shake the daylights out of it, and the peel comes right off, and you just dump the water and the eggs down the garbage disposal or the egg peel down the garbage disposal, and you have this you know beautifully cleaned egg uh, with no shells or even any little particles or anything like that and that's a great my son like i said in my last video my son loves that he's six and so like it's really empowering for him to be able to like take it to the sink and do it himself without having you know because he doesn't have to struggle that way as opposed to him sitting at the table trying to pick apart this egg and apparently you can do more than one egg at a time so if you have big enough like tupperware you can put like a half a dozen or six of them in there and shake them up and get all the, the peels off and we're left with nothing but the egg um which is great if you're like one of those um traditionalists who do double eggs at Easter time, which I do. I love doing double eggs at Easter time. Um, and if you haven't seen some of these recipes that you can do with double eggs, you can put crab meat in them, you can put bacon in them, you can put make them into like, they're like little mini, mini meals in, in an egg. It's pretty awesome. Um, so anyways, I digress. Apparently there's also a way, uh, hi there, well thank you for joining. Please give us a comment, let us know what you do uh, to make your Easter egg challenges less challenging um so uh another apparently you can i've done this before too you can actually put eggs in like um muffin tins 
um, you know, like on their tops. If you, you know, you can put the egg in the muffin tin like this or whatever, and you put them in the muffin tins and you can like bake them in the oven. That's, I, I know that uh, that was a, a tip that a, another viewer gave us last week. Now I've actually done that before and that's, that's easy to do. Um, you can also always boil it on the stove like we always talked about. And apparently you can cook your, hard boil your eggs in an instant pot. And I think I'm gonna try that this year because this is the first year that I've gotten, I got an instant pot for Christmas and I'm kind of intrigued by it and I really wanna get used to it and figure out how I can better use it. And so I thought, okay, I'm never gonna have the need to like, you know, hard boil two dozen eggs until Easter. So I'm going to try to do that and probably do a tutorial on that later in the week. But so, but if any of you have used the instant pot to boil your eggs, um, I would love some tips and tricks. I know, like I said, some others have done them in the oven. Some others have done them on the stove. There's probably another way to do them. Maybe there's a way to do them in the microwave. I don't know. If you know a great way to do it, let me know. Put them in the comments. Uh, you know, let us know how you, you, you manage that one. Um, what's another thing that I wanted to talk about? We talked about that. Um, oh, apparently that they say that like your eggs, when you put them in the water, you know, I was talking about putting a little bit of salt in there that like, so, cause for, to keep when your eggs crack, keep the egg whites from flowing out. Apparently if you put your eggs in the water, when they're, the eggs need to be room temperature. If you take them straight from the fridge, they're cold and you plop them in a hot boiling pot of water, it's a shock. And so that's why their, their egg shells tend to crack much easier that way. So if you want to, if your egg shells are less likely to crack when you put them in the boiling water if you um, have your eggs at room temperature. And then after your eggs are boiled, this is all when we're talking about boiling eggs. I don't know about the Instant Pot and I don't know about the oven stuff, but I will tell you that, if, so you boil your eggs on the stove for like 20 minutes or whatever, right? And then you drain the water off of them. And then they tell you just like basically put your hard boiled eggs in an ice bath. Um, or just like in cold water for a while, that will also help with the peeling of the eggs, making it easier to peel and uh, the shells coming off kind of in more of, the, more, more of one piece than in the little itty bitty pieces. So also something to know about eggs, which I did not know. I actually have to read this because I, I looked this up for your benefit and mine that you can tell, how you can tell if eggs are fresh. I mean, obviously we all have the egg containers and they have the little expiration date on or best buy date on the, on the ends of the egg crates or con cartons, but you know, you can eat eggs well past those dates. Um, what they say is, is that the like prime time to eat an egg or especially hard boiling eggs when they're seven to 10 days old, right? Um, but they tell you, you can tell exactly how old the egg is. Not, not you, If you don't have the box, you can tell how old the egg is. There's three ways I'm gonna read it because I'm gonna forget it. I'm gonna tell you the wrong thing. So this is what they say. They said, you take the egg and you put the egg in water, just like a cup of water. Not hot, just regular room temperature from the tap water. You put your egg in that water, right? And then that egg in that water, if it sinks horizontally, so like if the egg sinks this way in the cup, then you know that it's fresh. Now, if the egg sinks vertically this way, um, then apparently that's the ideal time to eat the egg, right? And if the egg floats, then you know that your eggs are going bad. So floats are a no-go, but you know, it's, you, you are prime when they're vertical and you are, you know, just fresh when they're horizontal. So good to know, right? Hey Grace, good to see you. Uh, Grace and I just came from our kids' uh, Easter party at school. So I'm glad to see that you've joined. So yes, we were just talking about how you can tell if an egg is fresh is when you put it in water, how it, how it sits in the water. It's this way, if it's horizontal, it's fresh. If it's vertical, it's the ideal time to eat it. And if it floats, it's a no-go, it's a bad egg. Note to self, right? Okay, so did you know too, like, the, you know, not all of us like hard boil our eggs. Like some people um, may decorate their eggs when they're raw and then blow the, like poke holes in the ends and blow the, the egg out of the egg and they keep it as like a keepsake. Um, you know, and I know that like uh, a lot of the cultures in like Texas and stuff, they do, I can't remember what they're called, they're like cockaracas or something, whatever, where they fill them with confetti and they smash them on people's heads. Um, but so some people, like I know like sometimes in my culture, we, um, we decorate them when they're raw inside and then you just poke holes in and blow the, blow the egg out and we keep the egg as a keepsake, the hollowed out egg drained egg. Well, that can be problematic because then you could like mess up all of the decorations that you put on there and having to put your mouth on a painted egg and everything. You can use, these look familiar moms. These are those nasal or like ear plungers that you get when you have your, you know, you have your baby when you're trying to, they're like snot suckers, right? So apparently what you can do is, you know, po poke the holes in there and like you can push the egg out or the egg white out or the egg or whatever out using your plunger, your na nasal plunger. Pretty cool, right? Right, Grace? Give me a thumbs up, Grace. I know you're watching. I know your mind is blown by my plunger trick. 
right? So that's another good one. This one is my favorite and I can't believe that I didn't know this before because maybe it's because I'm new to the egg dyeing game with kids. My son, like I said, is six, so we've had a couple of years with him where he's been an awful mess or I've actually just colored the eggs and he's just looked at them. <laughs> so, but now he's getting his hands into all these eggs and all this dye and wiping it all over his sister and all over the walls and everything like that. And that is not, that's not like a, mar a washable marker or a washable crayon. That dye does not wash off easily. Get yourself your whisk. Look at that. You put your egg in the whisk and you dip it in the egg dye. You don't even have to touch the dye. You don't have to like get a spoon or like to put your hands in there to pull the egg out or those horrible little wire things that you get with the Paws Easter egg color stuff, right? So you can use your little whisk and you can, your kids can easily take the egg in and out of the dye with a whisk. How brilliant is that, right? That's a really good one. I think I'm gonna have to use that one this year. Um, although this year, I think we might be doing, um, trying to do that kind of fad that's out there right now where you dye Easter eggs with shaving cream. This one, they, this one was dyed with shaving cream and, and other egg dye at my, my daughter's school. So this is what it ended up looking like. I don't know if mine would look like this or worse or better, but maybe we're gonna try it with the shaving cream, see if it's all as cracked up to be, if it's easier or if it's prettier or whatever. But yeah, so there you go. Wet here, these are the things you need to remember. If you're blowing out the egg white or the egg, if you want to stick it in here to dip them, right? We talked about baking powder. We talked about salt. Um, what else are we going to talk about? Some other really fun things that you can do, even if you're not doing like the hard boiled eggs for Easter this year. Um, there's well, actually this is a hard boiled egg trick. So what they do is say you get your egg right. It's really cool. It's kind of like an they call it a gradient, like when you gradient dye or like it's like an ombre. So you put your egg color in here right with a little bit of water, and you put your egg in, and then after that egg is sat, sat in there like vertically like that for a while, you put a little bit more water in it, and then a little bit more water in it, like put it in the dye for 10, 20, 10, 15 minutes, pour a little bit of water, let it sit there for 10, 15 minutes, and then a little bit more water, 10, 15 minutes. As the dye dilutes with every little bit of water that you put in there, it basically puts like an ombre stripe on your egg. So this would be like the darkest blue, and then the next ring would be a lighter blue, and then a lighter blue, and then a lighter blue as you add the water. To, isn't that kind of cool? I've never seen that before, and I might, I don't, I don't know if I'm ambitious enough to try that with my littles this year, but kind of a cute idea, right? Kind of cute. Um, then um, they also talk about, like I was saying, about plastic eggs. No, I mean, they're not horrible. I mean, they're reusable. You can just use them from year to year if you save them. I got bags of them up in my attic, you know, and, but I, I'm, I'm a traditionalist. I kind of really like the eggs, but the kids love, you know, opening the eggs and having the candy, right? You can reuse those plastic eggs when you're done by like, you can use them almost as like, you can put snacks in them. Like you can put Cheerios or goldfish or, you know, chips or grapes or stuff in those little eggs and put them in their lunch boxes. It's kind of a cute idea, right? A little spicing things up in the lunch box or throw them in your purse kind of thing, right? The problem is, is that those eggs really do kind of open up easily. Not as good as a Tupperware, but you know what? It's cute and it's novel and it's, it's a use for your Easter egg, plastic Easter eggs, right? So then there was another thing that I thought, I thought would be fun is like, especially if you're like, I don't know, you're, you have a pool party or if you're having an evening Easter party or whatever, it's that you can actually put, you can get a glow stick and wrap the glow stick into um, uh, the uh, plastic egg. You can wrap it in, you know, like fold it up and put it in a plastic egg and you can have an Easter egg hunt out in the dark, out in your yard or whatever, at the park or whatever, glow in the dark Easter eggs, which is kind of cool, right? But I have heard some moms have complained that it's kind of hard to really like get those long, you wouldn't use like a long one, you'd use like a bracelet one. Um, or they even sell like little minis. I've never seen them, um, but like apparently, you know, it'd be, it makes the eggs glow and it's kind of novel, kind of fun, right? And it'd be fun to throw in a swimming pool too, right? Or fun to have out in your backyard, at, you know, with a campfire if, if, it's a, if it's an evening Easter kind of thing. And then there was this last one I've never tried, but I thought it was really cute, especially for those parents that have Lego crazed kids. Um, you can take your egg or wooden egg or regular hard boiled egg or whatever, and you, you literally glue those little mints, they're like those little, or like little smarty, little smarty candies or little, those little, you know, what are those called? They come in the long tube and you unwrap them and they're all those tiny little pink and white candies. I can't remember what they're called right now. They're not smarties, are they smarties? Um, and you can take them and you literally, you glue them to the egg, like here's, you know, here's your, here's your egg and you glue them to the egg, like a Lego, pack, like a Lego brick. And then you paint your eggs red or yellow or green or blue and it looks like a Lego brick, like a Lego brick egg. Kind of cute, right? I know. I'll have to post a picture because I'm not doing this whole thing with the 
Lego, Lego eggs and the, the ombre eggs. I'm not explaining it very well, so I'll post pictures in this once I, I'm done um, here. But yeah, so I thought that those were kind of cool ideas, right? So those are my hacks for Easter egg stuff for you guys this year. Like I said, I'm sure that there's a million other fun ones that are out there, so please put them in the comments. Let me know if you tried any of these and if you've had success with them or failures with them. Share this with your friends. Um, and I'll be thinking of you when I'm doing some of the, this Easter egg coloring, boiling, instant potting, ovening um, this, this Easter. Be well, be safe, um, and you know, remember to celebrate the season, whether you're, you're Christian and you're celebrating you know, Jesus rising from the dead, or if it's just uh, you know, celebrating spring and the rebirth um, of our earth. Enjoy, take care, happy Easter all, and we look forward to see, talking to you soon. Mom, mom, moms, you got this.